Your patient interface for your NIM Vital is wireless. It works off of Bluetooth. It's got a battery in it, so you should always keep your patient interface docked and you should always keep your NIM plugged in even when you're not using it. But let's just say that you forgot to dock your patient interface overnight or you forgot to plug in your NIM overnight and so your patient interface battery is a little bit low. It has an indicator here which shows you your battery life as well as when the battery gets up to 20% life, it will give you a warning on the screen to let you know that it's at 20% battery life. There is a cable which is called your patient interface cable which you can quickly connect to the patient interface. The battery in the interface will normally last you up to eight hours, but if, um, if the battery is pretty low, you can use your patient interface cable. It's got a blue connection at the end and both ends are the same. The bottom of the patient interface has a little blue section where you would plug in the cable. So one end of the cable gets plugged into the bottom back of it. The other end of the cable just gets plugged into the back side of the NIM. It's got the blue section here and the blue uh, end of the cord here. It just gets plugged into the end of, your, of the NIM vital just like this. Once it's connected, the NIM vital will automatically tell you that it's wired. So instead of having a Bluetooth symbol, it'll have the wired symbol, and then you can just proceed with your case. Same thing with your muting. If for some reason you're having an issue with the NIM not muting properly when you're using electric pottery, there is an adapter that you would connect to the back side of the NIM. It's got a little port here on the side, and you have your muting cord that you would just plug in. So that adapter gets plugged in, and then your muting cord gets plugged into that adapter.